today I'm going to be showing you guys how to create this beautiful painting in acrylics. I want to say a huge thank you to Arteza for sponsoring today's video and providing all the supplies. I'll pop the links to the products used in the description box, so head there for any information and also for a code that will get you 10% off. I'm going to start off using quite a big flat brush to get lots of area covered. I'm going to start with the yellows because they are the lightest colour of the sunset. And next I'm going to take that orange, really really vibrant orange, and take that around the yellow. Feel free to be quite haphazard, you don't have to do exactly the same as me. Just go with your gut and do big wide brush strokes. Next I'm going to add some pink around that orange and yellow. The metallic range can be a little bit translucent, so that's a good tip to remember if you're going to be purchasing them. They work really nicely and they've got a beautiful shimmer, um, but it was a bit more translucent than I first realised. So I'm going to go over with a bit of a stronger pink. This is a neon pink, so I'm really going to get that vibrant colour. And now I'm going to take the purple in and I'm going to pop that down at the bottom and also a little bit in the sky because I'm going to be popping the blue in next. So that's going to be a really nice blend up to the blue. Sunsets are one of the most satisfying things to paint because you can use so many beautiful vivid colours and it's just so calming to look at and makes you feel so much happier. I really love the blue and the pink together here, it's like cotton candy skies. So next I'm going to take the darker blue and this is one of my favourite colours from the whole Arteza paint collection. It's called Pearl Sapphire Blue and it has got a beautiful shimmer in it which unfortunately you can't tell on camera as beautiful as it is in real life. So I want to make sure that I pop quite a lot of that colour in just because I love it so much. And I'm just going to do lots of forward and back motions just to really blend those colours together. So I noticed that there's a big bit at the bottom that I've not done yet, so I'm going to take the pink and take that down to the bottom. And this is where I noticed that my candle's actually gone out, so <laughs> that's unfortunate because I didn't realise at the time, so we're just going to go and pretend that that's still lit, okay? Thanks guys. I've just waited for that layer to dry and I'm going to be going over with more intense colours. So we've sort of got the background layer mapped out and now we're just going to keep going over little bits that maybe need reinforcing. So I feel like there's not a big enough blend between the blue and the yellow, so I'm going to take some of the pink and maybe even some purples and I'm going to lighten that up a little bit with white so that it's, it's a bit more realistic because I feel like at the minute there's not much of a blend between the two colours. Now 
Now because I really love the way the pink and the blue are together, I'm going to add in some more of that pink. I just feel like it just, oh, it just matches so lovely. And sometimes that happens with a painting, like you don't always plan it to be a certain way. But then once you add it, you think, oh, I really like that. So feel free to really experiment with your painting. You don't have to copy exactly what I'm doing. Just look at your own painting and maybe use a reference photo of a sunset to really just gauge what colours you want to use and how intense those colours are. So I'm going to go in with a lighter blue now to again blend that harsh blue line. And just add in a few more like pastel shades. I'm going to add some of that darker blue on top because that's going to make it feel like that's in the foreground. So yeah, I'm just going to reinforce that blue because as I say, I love that colour and it's a little bit thin with just one coat. Okay, so now what I'm going to do is use a pencil to map out my palm trees. So I suggest that you use a reference photo for this. If you just Google palm trees, there's so many examples of shapes. And these are the brushes that I'm going to be using. So first of all, I'm going to use a very small brush to draw on like the tree trunks, just so I've got that mapped out where the trees are going to go. I thought I had quite a steady hand, but not today. <laughs> And I'm using black because I feel like it contrasts really nicely with the background and it makes it a lot, lot easier. To draw a black silhouette is a lot easier than trying to add shades with the reflections of the sunset, um, etc. So I'm going to go with black silhouette because it's a lot easier and I think it works really well for this video. So now I'm going to be using a fan brush and these brushes are excellent for palm trees or anything that needs lots of little tiny brush strokes. It means that you can achieve a really nice leaf shape with minimal effort. So I suggest if you've never used one of these before to have a little practice on a spare piece of paper. I'm going to be doing one brush stroke for the bone of the leaf and then just dragging down the brush very lightly to start off with to really mimic those palm tree leaves. It can be frustrating but don't give up, just keep trying and yeah, maybe try a practice page first. Sometimes using our imagination we can tend to put things in a very symmetrical way because that's the way our brain makes it easier to understand whereas in real life they might be a lot more random and 
Painting things randomly is actually a lot harder than it should be or that it seems, so using a reference photo can really just help you get a bit more of a realistic shape. But it can be any picture of a palm tree, even if it's not a black silhouette shape, just use any picture of a palm tree and just change it into a black shape. Okay, so once that's done, I'm just going to stand back and just check it and just see if I'm happy with it. I'm just going to make some small little amendments. It's likely that your painting will look quite different at this point, so don't necessarily copy exactly what I'm doing now, but have a look at your own and see bits that you might like to change. So I feel like the tallest palm tree is a little bit too wide so I'm going to just cut short some of those palm tree leaves by just painting in some of the background again just to shorten them and I think I went a little bit wild with the brush. But I'm really glad that that's happened because it's nice to know sometimes that other people change things and undo actions and that's okay, that's part of the painting process to change things and adapt things and that's why acrylic is really really easy and great to use because it's a lot easier to undo something when you're using acrylic. Okay, so I think that's pretty much finished. I'm really, really happy with the way it came out. I think it came out better than I expected it to. And if you guys painted along or you just sat and enjoyed the video with a lovely cup of tea, I really hope that you guys enjoyed that. <laughs>